Oh, sweet. Let's put that thing on safe. Yeah, if there is a safe for this thing, Hickok 45 with a Micro Draco. My new carry gun, I thought I would let you all know first that I have switched from my Glocks and my LC9 and my Shield and my Glock 43 to this as my carry gun. Let's go back up to the table and I'll show you why that I have decided this is it. Uh, it is a cool pistol. It really is. We're always looking for that ideal carry pistol. This is now mine. Let's rack that one out in the chamber. Oh, well, let's put the safety off. Or it won't let us do that. Right. Okay. So we're clear. <laughs> yes, this is the Micro Draco. Uh, I would say no home is complete without one of these. You should have one. Do you own one? If not, why not? Uh, it's a gorgeous firearm. Uh, you know, highly practical. It's just something everybody should own, in my opinion. Yep, we're selling them. Uh, we get a discount and we get a commission on it. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, yeah, this is an ugly contraption, isn't it? Uh, some would say any AK is an ugly contraption. And this takes it maybe to a higher level. But it is just a pistol AK. And we appreciate uh, Trigger's Firearms in Florence, Kentucky <laughs> for giving this to us, to John. John was interested in buying one when we were doing the meet and greet up there. He was looking at it awfully hard. He thought it might be fun. John's kind of weird, you know, anybody would think this is cool. And uh, they just gave it to us, so we appreciate Trigger. <laughs> I think we appreciate it, do we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> now, it's an interesting piece. I, if you've seen one of these hanging on the wall in a gun shop, and you've uh, entertained the notion of maybe purchasing it or wondering what it was like, that's kind of why we're here. We thought you might find it interesting. Uh, it is an interesting little, little thing because so far it has been, I think, 100% reliable. John has shot it a lot. I've shot it some. And it just works. The dumb thing just works. You would think as short as it is, there would be some kind of inherent problem that doesn't show up with one of these babies, the longer version of the AK. And, and these have been around a while. There have been a couple of these AKs made, you know, and we all know they work, at least in this configuration. This happens to be my SGL-20 uh, arsenal. And we just thought we'd bring it out here for contrast. How's that? I think we maybe found something that actually makes uh, my arsenal look beautiful right it makes it look a lot better it makes it look like a real rifle doesn't it so uh this is interesting it's a draco mini uh the mini draco there's a no it's a micro i'm sorry micro draco and it's about a six inch barrel there's a mini draco that has a little bit longer barrel i think almost eight inches 7.75 or something and then there's a full-size draco that uh i think the barrel's around 11 inches on it so you'll see these in different lengths this is the shortest one okay they're romanian i read that they don't uh, have to uh, worry so much about the 922r compliance issue because it's a pistol you know with a, an ak that's imported you've got to put a certain number of u.s made parts on it uh, for it to be you know compliant and everything and that's a controversial issue in and of itself but that's not as much an issue with this as i understand all right and it's got kind of an a2 flash hider there and it's twisted around there to where you can kind of adjust it to where maybe it throws, you know, based on the twist of the, uh, the round. If you're shooting it offhand like this, you're trying to drill something at 200 yards and uh, maybe you can even control the torque on it a little bit. I don't know. It's not a muzzle uh, brake. It's really just a flash hider, but it might help a little bit in that regard. So let me show you the inside. It is AK. It is an AK. All right. So there you go. You got a couple of differences. You know, just take out the, the spring. You got this other block here. Ugh. There we go. Pull that out. This fits down in here because you need that extra on that. Except from keeps the uh, I think it keeps the bolt from coming back too far, right? You'll see why. The bolt, see, it's very short. Look at that. It actually comes out of the tube, the gas tube. How's that for interesting? A little, little short bolt, okay, back and forth. And that's kind of a buffer that, that keeps from going back too far. Because if it comes all the way back, you know, it'll pop right out of there. So, 
There you go, it's all AK except for that. And you gotta take this grip off to, to clean to get to the gas tube, okay, to clean it. Well, we've not done that yet, uh, but she keeps on cranking. We've shot it several times and uh, it's just all AK. You know, and the receiver really is uh, about the same length there. Not much difference at all, so that's why I guess it works, all right? And uh, now that I've taken that out, let's see if I can fumble finger it enough to get it back in. Yeah, your AK bolt there, look familiar. Uh, you know, I really do think everybody needs one of these. It's just a gorgeous firearm, isn't it? Uh, and again, we've talked about that before, uh, how, how firearms, let's see, this goes in first. Yeah, sorry about that. The, uh, every firearm doesn't have to be extremely practical. It might just be something that's, uh, interesting to you, fun. You think it might be, just be fun, you know, duh. Think about how many people you know they're into firearms and they have way more firearms than most would think they need, right? A lot of them are just uh, interesting firearms to, to play with, really. Take to the range or just uh, just try out and shoot. I don't know. This could have some application, practical application, I suppose. It could be a truck gun, right? I mean, it is a pistol. You know, the AR and AK pistol seem to be pretty popular these days. They really do. Let's see. Make sure the safety's not on. Make sure I've got that in there all the way. It didn't seem right. You know what? It's something doesn't seem right. But, uh, and I've had it apart several times, so it's not generally a problem unless you are kind of fumble fingered. But this kind of falls in one of those categories where it's just something that's kind of interesting to, to play with. Okay, it wasn't in the rail. I see that. You've got to get your bolt in there properly. Yeah, of course, I would struggle with it when I'm on camera. That's that's the way things are supposed to happen, isn't it? That's the way it goes. Get the bolt out. All right, let's try again. Uh, it's a neat thing about firearms, though. They're they're pretty simple, but then you gotta get them together right, correctly. Okay, get the extractor in the right place. Lugs right there. Down and pop it back together. You know, I remember that lug being no. Now here we go. Okay. It's funny. I've struggled with the, the regular AK a time or two, and then I mess with it, and I wonder why I struggled because they generally are not a problem. So, I think I figured out for you guys what the problem is here. Well, the extractor has to be over there, so that's what I'm kind of looking at. I think I'm paying too much attention to it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you take the bolt in and then bring it back out. And then that way your extractor, generally speaking, let y'all profit from my stupidity here. I mean, I always look at where the extractor is, so I know it's going to be over on the right side. And I was trying to get it over there right away, but it had to kind of go in and come back out like that. Okay, because that lug is going to be right there. And I know that's when it will go in just fine. If you have that lug right there in place. And it goes forward all the way. Okay, we're in business. All right. So, that's the way it is. Everything doesn't go smoothly all the time, does it? Uh, but, uh, but as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my uh, lack of coordination here, every firearm doesn't have to be extremely practical and have a definite purpose. Otherwise, uh, there would not be many firearms bought, would there? Just get something that works and that'd be it. One or two guns, good shotgun, good handgun. A good rifle, you know, and that's it. Can't buy any more guns. It's got to have a specific purpose. It's got to be perfect for whatever you're doing, okay? Now, again, that's my little preaching on the topic, but this is pretty strange. It, it really is. It has a lot of blast. Uh, the positives on this thing, though, are it has, again, been 100% reliable. It, ha it is AK reliable. You know, for, so for whatever purpose you think it might have, at least it's reliable. And, you know, 7.62 by 39 is what it's firing. Uh, another negative, the sights are on the dust cover. So 
you know, you got that, and the rear sight's not so good. Uh, that could be improved probably. Now, someone might make a replacement sight for that. I don't know why they didn't put it up here on the receiver. You're like about right there. Oh, I see, because the front sight's right there. <laughs> yeah, so uh, anyway, let's take up more shots with it. And uh, let's see, we had a 40 round magazine in it. Let's put a mag full mag in it. They seem to work too. We're shooting wolf ammo mostly and a little bit of the, uh, the uh, federal ammo. And uh, we appreciate the AK ammo they send. We hate to shoot too much of it because it's that, uh, that expensive, I uh, forget what it's called now, Fusion, the Fusion ammo. So we shoot some of that and some wolf. And then uh, we, of course, uh, again, appreciate the support from BudsGunShop.com. Uh, so be sure you check the description in every video, all right, for uh, information about meet and greets and uh, as well as our Facebook page and all that. Uh, all right, let's shoot a couple more rounds here. It's hot. What if I can hit this uh, paint can here? Let's see how far the sights are off. <laughs> Ouch. Boy, get your ears in tight when you shoot this thing. Let's, uh, let's try a one-handed shot at that two liter. Like I told you, my new carry gun. <laughs> cool. Let's see if we hit that uh, pot. Oh, man. Look at that. I do need to start carrying this. Oh, what a shot. Let me try the red plate over there. Oh, I can still hold it up. Well, oh, it's heavy. Ah, I think the windage was on. Get it up a little bit. Close. No cigar. Boy, that thing is heavy. And awkward. <laughs> Let me try it with both hands. Woo! See if I can at least hold the side on, maybe it'll come close. Get my ears in tight enough. Woo! <laughs> oh man, try this propane tank here again. <laughs> and you know what, I think the burn barrel has had not had enough ventilation. So let's try a couple on it. How's that for a truck gun? Woo! The only thing is the control. You know, you, you don't want to be shooting anything <laughs> that you can't control and uh, you know, put rounds where you want them to. Now, not that it's that bad. It's just a, uh, it's rather awkward, rather awkward thing to shoot. Again, it does work. So if you think this is something you need to have, uh, that, is, that is a positive. It's going to shoot, it's going to function. We've tried two or three different kinds of magazines in it and uh, two or three different kinds of the AK ammo, the 7.62 by 39, and uh, they seem to work. So, you know, it, it does fire. Uh, now, I'm, I'm impressed by that, I guess. <laughs> That's interesting. And it has this big uh, forearm here. It looks a little bit strange, but it, it, it feels pretty good. It enables you to get your hand in there and get a good grip on it. And if it gets hot, after you have fired it a few thousand times because you're so sick, uh, it, you know, the heat's not going to come through that too soon. So it, it really is a firearm that, uh, that most of you should buy and, and uh, probably carry in a chest holster, be my recommendation. <laughs> I tell you what you do, scare, your, scare your, uh, your CCW, your carry permit trainer. Scare them to death, uh, whoever you're taking your carry permit class with. Show up with, with one of these, you know, tell them you're ready to, to get your carry permit. Let's shoot just a couple more. Uh, let's try some of this fusion ammo, okay? Wow, what a contrast. That kind of ammo in this thing. All right, let's shoot the propane tank over there across the hill. Get that thing. I think you can hear it if we get it. Yeah, I hear it ringing. <laughs> My ears are ringing just from the, the blast. 
Let's go out here and take a couple more shots at this thing. Safety on. Everything works on it. I'll have to say. <laughs> Damn, can't get my ears in tight enough. Kill team. All right. Safety on. Woo. So anyway, the micro Draco is still hot with the safety on. Micro Draco. No home is complete without one of these babies. And, uh, you know, again, kind of a novelty item. And probably the biggest benefit of doing what have we done in this video, if there's any value in it, is just uh, giving you a kind of a look at it and maybe satisfying a little bit of your curiosity, perhaps, when you see them, uh, you know, hanging on a wall in a gun shop. You know, is that something I would ever want? You know, what, what would that do for me? Is that something I should own? Uh, so if you like to, to play and you know, and I know people don't like to use the word play with firearms But it is it's a hobby and, and there's lots of different types of firearms and uh, what else you can do with something like this maybe Unless it is your carry pistol But uh, yeah, that, it works. Okay, and if you're an AK person you really like AKs uh, Maybe it's something you want to have you want to have some big AKs You want to have some little AKs perhaps that fire the same round so anyway the Micro Draco, it's uh, an unusual piece of hardware. Life is good. <laughs>